Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where you can level up your Weeb level by learning some trivia on the Japanese culture and language, and some nuances that were lost in the translation of an anime. In this case, for the 10th episode of Onimai. At the beginning of this episode, Kaede used a greeting that was really popular in the very beginning of the 2000s. It's a contraction from the usual morning greeting, Ohio. The origin of it can actually be traced back to a morning kids show that started airing on TV Tokyo in 1997, Ohasta. But what really made it popular and spread as a greeting was when it started getting used on the program Satasuma on Fuji TV by Katori Shingo when playing his character Shingo Mama. He is one of the members of probably the most well-known Japanese boys band, SMAP. The quick spread was also greatly helped, with it being used in a pretty catchy song that became a big hit, Shingo Mama no Oha Lok. It also won the 2000 New and Popular World Award of Yukan. Asahi used a pretty common Japanese pun that was lost in the translation when she said, you've got a point. In Japanese, she said Tashkani, which means pretty much the same thing of it's true or you're right. But the word also ends with Kani, which is the Japanese word for crab. And that's why you can see her making this with her finger. I don't know how many people were already familiar with the term Fujoshi that Mio used in the library when talking with Mahiro. But this is something used to talk about a girl that really likes BL, romantic stories between guys. In a literal sense, it's a rotten girl. This term comes from changing the first kanji of Fujoshi, wife, girl. The rotten kanji was used as a self-deprecation to symbolize rotting your own mind when reading BL stories. The Japanese expression that was used by Mahido after Mio recommended a bunch of books that was translated into down the rabbit hole was Numa, the Japanese word for a swamp that can also be used as a slang to talk about something to get obsessed about, to have a hard time getting out of. In the last scene of the episode, after the misunderstanding between Mahilo and the two boys of his class, Mahilo described himself as a chijo, which was translated into brazen hussy. The Japanese term is the female version of chikan, a word that I already explained in more details in my video on the third episode to talk about a molester. Written as stupid woman, but over time the meaning changed to describe a female molester. The end card of this episode was drawn by Kariya Hitomi, who started to work on anime five years ago. She worked on the animation for the first episode of Osama Linking and its second opening, and she's also the person that did the entirety of the visuals for the second ending of Chainsaw Man. That's all I had for this episode, and you know what to do. Like this video to let me know if you want me to continue this series. Comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff.